What's up y'all? Today's video is going to be the first in hopefully what's a bunch, a really long series across a bunch of different YouTube channels. A buddy of mine tied up a fly and tied up a spinnerbait for bass and the challenge is to catch some fish on it here in Missouri. He caught some fish on those baits in Kansas and then I'm going to send it on to the next state. We're going to keep doing that. It's called the Across the U.S. Bait Challenge hosted by Sean from the Native Wild Man. He's the one that made these baits. Let's show them off real quick. We are doing a challenge uh, across the U.S. Travel across the U.S. challenge. We're gonna take a little fly. This is a fly that you made, right? Yeah, you made you made I both those baits. And the spinner bait I tied. Right. And so um, he's gonna right mm -hmm. here. So we're gonna start right here and catch a fish on that thing. Really nice looking fly. And uh, I guess then I'm gonna have to catch a fish on it. There's also a nice spinner. I'll show you guys here in a little bit that he tied as well. I gotta catch a fish on that. And then I'm gonna pick one of you lucky people to send this bait to. So then you guys gotta catch a fish and pass it on and so on and so forth. And don't lose it like I did the first time. So and you have two weeks to catch a fish with it. There you go. Post a visit video, tag Sunfish King, Native Wild Man in it, and try not to snag it. <laughs> yeah. Try and get it to pull the main state, would... maybe even like up in Canada the angling spiders for Sean and them. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a few <laughs> awesome catches on it without losing these bait. All right, y'all, that's the challenge. We're gonna catch some fish on that. So I'll put like all the, the rules on that in the description so you can read over it and it makes sense. Sound good? Anything else I didn't mention about um, that? Tag me and the Sunfish King in it. Definitely. Um, when you do it, just keep adding the tag of who's had the lure. That way we know who's had it. Yep, that way if you get it and you catch a fish on it and the next person will tag you in it so you can see what they're catching on the same thing. So, should be fun. It's, what's it called? The Around the... Around across the, the U.S. Across the U.S. Bait Challenge, something like yeah, that. Across the U.S. Bait Challenge. Let's do it. All right, y'all. I'm going to head back to Missouri. Special thanks to this guy. Had a lot of fun. Peace Ooh, and long life. Peace and long life. Later. Fishing's good. See ya. Bye. I can. Hey, check this out. What is that? Orange spot. Oh, I didn't know they were that small. I think my, my setup's way... Yeah, I told you way, they're small. Way too big for those things. Oh, I need to tie on it. Well, it's my turn to catch one on the fly then. <laughs> ah! Am I, are we recording? Ah! All right, we're recording. That is my target species right there. I've never caught one. They're beautiful. Kind of look like a little long ear. Female, I think. Yeah, no, that's a male. So it's pretty for it's a male. Yeah. All right. Well, the females that is the fly more. that's going to be going to one of you lucky viewers with that and spinner. And I caught the first one. Unfortunately, I lost the um, <laughs> footage to the uh, bass that I caught off of the uh, spinner bait. But all right, Kansas is marked off the list. Yep, Missouri's okay. next. Yep, Missouri is next. So. The first challenge will be this fly here, little red fly here. Let me put my hand behind it and maybe it'll focus a little bit, but a little red fly with an orange tail on there, weighted, I don't know how much it weighs, but very little, and a, one, uh, a size 16 hook is what I was trying to say. Real small hook on there. So he caught some sunfish on it out in Kansas, and I can't wait to see what I catch here in Missouri on it. And then we got the native wild man spinner bait. It's got a already tossing around a few times so it's a little wet but it's got a squirrel tail for the trailer there's not really room to put a plastic trailer on there because of how it's tied but it's got like a squirrel tail trailer all bunch of crazy color there for the skirt and i would say it's it's like a bluegill color or whatever like a, a yellow gold with a green in there pretty awesome looking it's got a silver colorado blade and like a gold or a copper colored uh willow blade looking pretty good i'm not sure how much that weighs like a quarter ounce three eighths ounce but anyway we're gonna go try to catch some fish on those awesome baits and what you see here i'm cooling my neck off uh with this little neck cooler fan thing uh got a message in my email 
hey, you wanna try this fan out? Include it in a video, include the link, all that good stuff. I used it at work today, it's pretty nice, keeping my neck cool, keeping my sunburn, feeling nice and <laughs> not super hot. So, if you guys wanna check out something like this, it's got three different modes, I've got it all the way on high right now because it's like 90 degrees right now. But that all being said, you guys wanna check it out, I'll for sure have that linked in the description. I'll have Native Wildman's link in the description too. Let's shut up and go catch some fish on these baits and then let's see who I'm gonna send it to next. I'm gonna wait to the end of this video, you're gonna have to watch to the end, and then I'll announce where these baits are going after this. Hey, what's going on? I'm gonna be fishing the first bait of the two baits that Sean from Native Wildman made for the Across the US Bait Challenge that he's putting on. He caught a bass on the spinner bait, which I will not be using today. I'll show that off and I'll use that one of these days soon. And he caught some sunfish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. On this fly right here. Let me show you guys what we got going on. So a red body, little orange tail on there, little tiny lead head. He said it's a size 16 hook and he caught several fish on it. So Kansas is off the list. Now I'm gonna catch a Missouri fish on this bait and I'm gonna send it on to the next person. At the end of this video, I'll announce who the next person I'm sending these to in some other state besides Missouri or Kansas. And a couple things. First off, you can fish this on fly gear or on spinning gear. If you have no idea what you're doing with flies, I recommend just doing what I'm doing, fish it on spinning gear. Just use a light rod or ultra light rod. Use size two, size two, what am I saying? Use two pound test for your line. Any heavier than that, it's gonna be really hard to cast one of these things. So that's what I recommend. You can also fish it under a float and that'll help you get a little bit of a cast. They have floats that fill with water specifically for for fishing flies with like spinning tackle. But anyway, the second thing I'll say is you don't have to get cocky. You could just catch one fish on this and send it on. If you break it off, there's no way to send it on and then we gotta figure out what to do. So catch a fish, get it on video, send it to the next person. That being said, I might catch two or three, you know, just to make, just to get some content. But here we got this little tiny fly. I like fishing it around weeds or around rocks. I just kind of toss it out. That wasn't a very good cast. It's hard to get a cast with something that weighs absolutely nothing. But again, use like light rod, size two. I keep saying size two. I don't know what that is. Two pound test for your line. And you should be able to fling it out a little bit. There's a fish already. Didn't take long. So we got a green sunfish while I was just like explaining what's going on. So I think we'll catch two more fish on this fly and then I will uh, get it ready to get shipped to the next person. I don't want to break it off getting too cocky trying to catch too many fish on it, but there's a green sunfish on the native wild man fly. All right. Cool. Curious to see what you guys catch and hopefully not drop like me. <laughs> They're just very spiky little fish. They're very incredibly spiky. All right, let's get little dude back. Like I said, we'll probably catch two more fish. Looks like a fish is going for it. Someone was, oh, yep, another greenie. Another greenie, y'all. Not bad. All right, let's go for at least one more. There's one. Yeah, we got a fish. Ooh! All right, Sean, you seeing that? That's a nice green sunfish on the fly. Look at that. Good fish for such a tiny little bait. I'll tell you what, guys. What is that, three of them? Three of them? I think we're gonna do one more. I really don't want to get cocky. I don't want you guys to see me lose this thing. I don't want to see you. I don't want you guys to see me lose this fly. We're at three. I'll tell you what. We're gonna to try to catch five. We're gonna to try to catch two more, and then I will retire this bait until the next person in the next state gets it. Sorry for dropping you. Two more. Let's go. There's fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another decent greenie. All right, guys, we're gonna go for one more on the fly. 
fishing these weightless flies is a ton of fun. Another way, if you don't have flies, that's very similar and really fun, get yourself your two pound line. Hey, I didn't call it number two that time. Get yourself your two pound line and put on like a size 12 hook, something real small and the tiniest piece of worm you can. Fish it weightless, do exactly what I'm doing, wing it out there, let it slowly fall, jiggle it around like I am. You'll catch all types of stuff. Every once in a while you'll hook like a, like a catfish or a bass or something on that tiny little piece of worm and it'll be a ton of fun in ultralight. Let's get that guy back. All right, that's four. Let's catch one more final fish on this native wild man fly. Kind of let it sink, kind of jiggle it around. Is that a fish? Yep. Wow. That was quick. <laughs> They've all been green sunfish. They've all been green sunfish. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll go for one more fish, just uh, just in hopes that it's not a green sunfish. And that that will be it. I'm not going to go for anything else after that. So, all right, let's go for one more. Well, just another green sunfish. At least it's a different looking one. Look, kind of got some purple on him, real dark, real small. We're gonna call it at that. So we're gonna send this awesome looking fly. I've dropped every fish I've caught. <laughs> Try not to do that in your video. This awesome looking fly from Native Wild Man. I'm gonna send that to someone else in another state to get on some fish. Hopefully they catch something besides green sunfish. <laughs> What's up y'all, we're back at it. I was out here yesterday, that's when I caught them green sunfish on that little red fly from Native Wild Man, and now it's time for the spinner, bait number two. Let's show this thing off. So here it is, kind of like a bluegill or perch color, I would say. And then you got that crazy looking skirt. He fished it without a trailer. The way it's tied, wouldn't be super easy to get a trailer shoved very far up there because it's tied all the way down to right here so you can only get a trailer really to right there feel free if you're using this thing to put a trailer on but you're gonna have trouble doing so and you might mess it up so i'm not going to this is squirrel tail right here that's going to act as the trailer and we've got a copper willow blade and a silver colorado blade and yeah i don't know what the weight is on this it feels like maybe a 3 8 ounce Something like that. Like maybe quarter ounce, three eighths ounce. It's less than a half ounce. Anyway, we're gonna go fish it along the rocks here. There's one, there's one. All right, it didn't feel huge. But look, a bass on the native wild man spinner bait. How about that? You seeing that, Sean? Ah! Alrighty. Got some greenies on the, sp on the fly. Got that dude on the spinner bait. Got it on video. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Alright, there we are. Not bad. got her done good luck to the next person hopefully this makes it to a lot of the 50 states and hopefully a lot of people catch fish on it without losing it good luck y'all freaking cool make sure whew, make sure to check out native wild man he'll be linked in the description super sick this is a little better than the last one all right guys all right guys before we get cocky because if i hook up with a bigger one i'm scared that there's a chance he shakes off, breaks off, shakes off, breaks off, and then I don't have the bait anymore. We're gonna call that challenge successful. Whew, that guy's a little better than the last one too. Woohoo! What do you think about that, Sean? What up y'all, probably being a little ballsy, a little cocky because I'm out here with the spinner one more time. I'm at a different lake and yes, I have the, the neck cooling fan thing on right now. It's feeling pretty nice because I just got off work, worked outside all day, sweated my butt off. So it feels good on my sweaty neck, slightly sunburnt as well. So again, there'll be a link in the description if you want one of these 
dealy boppers. But anyway, got the got the spinner there. Eh. We're gonna try to get one more fish on it, and I figured out who I'm sending this stuff to. I'm not gonna tell you guys. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll let you know who these baits are gonna go to next, what state they're gonna go to. But I'll give you a hint. It's going west. It's going to someone who likes catching bass and trout, and they really love fitness. So some of you guys already know who it is, but I'll, I'll mention it at the end. Let's try to get one more fish on this, and then if we do hook up with one, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna quit throwing it. That'll be the end. No more, no more uh, fishing with it because I do not want to lose it. So I'm gonna try to get one more fish, and if we do, awesome. If not, it is what it is. Let's go. There's one. There's one. I watched him hit it. That didn't take long. Didn't take long. No! <laughs> We're going to count that. Holy crap. Sure doesn't feel right. I feel like it's spinning or something. There's one. All right, guys. The definition of getting cocky is what I'm doing right now. Oh, Sean, <laughs> I know you're probably watching this scared. You're like, dude, you caught your fish. <laughs> Send it on to the next guy. Quit, ho quit hogging it. Ah! <laughs> That's the last one right there. That's the last fish. All right, y'all. Challenge complete. Times a bunch. So we caught a bunch of fish on the spinner. Caught a bunch of fish on the fly. Woo! Time to announce. Who I'm sending this stuff to. Let's get this fish back and make that announcement. All right, and I'm sorry, Sean. Some of the skirt's coming off. Hopefully by the time it makes it to all the states, there's a little bit of skirt left. <laughs> I'm about to do a skirt repair job along the way. I don't know anything about that. There goes the fish. All right, y'all. The baits are going west. They're going to our fitness-loving friend, Rocco Taco the Rockstar from the Laugh Channel, L-A-F-F-F-F. -F 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 bunch of f's on there he's a good dude i fished with him plenty of times out there in colorado one of these days i need to get his butt out to missouri to catch some missouri fish but yeah this fly and the spinner is going to go to him he does a lot of fly fishing and also fishing for bass so it'll be perfect and then i'm not going to let you know but we have an idea of who we might send it to after that a good buddy of both of ours so stay tuned really interested to see what rocco catches on it check out the link in the description for this thing keep my neck cool the whole time can't say the same for like my forehead and stuff super sweaty <laughs> But that all being said, thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Native Wild Man. Super awesome baits. We got it done. Missouri's crossed off the list. Let's see where it's going next. Mm -hmm.